My name is Jordan Bird, and I am an artist. I started painting when I was little. When I could hold a brush, essentially. <laughs> I've got little photos of me like as like a tiny little one, and I'm painting like in my underwear in the kitchen. <laughs> it's not good, but I'm painting regardless. <laughs> Most mediums I've at least tried. I did a lot of pen and ink for a long time. Acrylic is kind of my main thing. I've just recently started to get into 3D mediums. Basically anything that I could potentially try, I've at least tried. I find commissions hard just because if you're not vibing on it, you have to do it anyway, which sucks. Because sometimes like it just flows and you can like whip out a painting and it's amazing and beautiful and you're really proud of it. But sometimes you just, you can't. And it's like, I'm very much the equivalent of like walking through mud. And like, you have to get to the other side, but it sucks along the way. And it's just very unfortunate. All my murals were very fun. See, my favorite was probably like the fitting rooms at Art Now, because it was a, like, you know, a retail space that I worked at for years and years and years. And that kind of started something, like it was the first, first murals that I had done. It was just really cool to be seen in a different way by like, the, like my bosses and stuff when I was hired to take people's money and <laughs> water plants. Back in high school, I designed um, a piece that was like Mickey Mouse with um, like an indigenous headdress. One of my favorite tattoo artists of all time, her name is Miss May LaRue, and she tattoos out of California and she's like basically exclusively a Disney tattoo artist. And I got a message of my favorite tattoo artist of all time tat had tattooed my drawing on somebody. And it was just, the most surreal thing that has ever happened to me. Not only is my drawing tattooed on somebody, which is just bananas, but then my favorite artist then goes and has done it and knows I exist and like respects my art and stuff. It was just, it was just so cool. I had a little moment where I thought, if I'm going to make a living, as an artist, I need to have a realistic, artistic job, and that was kind of me more or less diminishing myself. So I figured I'll just try to get into a line of work where I at least get to be creative and I get to have a nice, solid nine to five. The BCIT program, I liked the ability to not have to drag it out and like be in school forever because I'm not, I'm not very good at school. I went in completely blind. I told myself at the beginning, before the graphic design program, if I don't end up even going into graphic design, because I don't know if I'm gonna like it, um, I'll at least take digital art skills from it. Because you have to be at least somewhat technically savvy to be able to post your stuff online, make different products from your art. It's nice to, to be able to have those skills that I can apply to other artistic aspects of my life but then also now it just so happens to be like my job. I have a nice balance right now of a sustainable nine to five graphic design job as well as coming home and freelancing. I thought I would like to start doing markets. I think I'm gonna shoot to try to do one for Christmas time. I didn't really put that out in the universe at all, but I was like in the back of my mind, I'm like, okay, what kind of things would I have to do to get to that step? And then Chilliwack Pride, like the organizers, messaged me and said like, we're looking for people, do you want to be a part of it? And I'm like, oh, well, they're specifically asking for me. I should probably at least give it a shot. I wasn't expecting it to be as insane as it was. From the second that it started, I did not have a break where there wasn't someone at my table. It was, it was really, really cool. And so that kind of gave me the confidence to go and do more. I was just kind of trying to find my shop's niche because I've got a lot of different mediums that I like to work with, but like you don't want to have too many. So trying to find just kind of what sells um, to a certain extent is kind of where I'm at because I'm still starting out. So sticker market is very saturated. The print market is very saturated, but like the clay mushrooms don't really seem to have that many people at least locally doing them so people like tag me in photos with their mushrooms inside their plants and it's just it's been really cool 
be able to see that. People are now realizing how much effort it takes and how good it is to have like a custom hand painted thing. And like there was a while there where people didn't really realize that, but I think it's the idea of supporting a small business is becoming more in people's minds, I think. I'd ideally like to be working for myself in some capacity, um, not, you know, doing commissions and markets and murals and that kind of thing. It would be ideal, of course, but have to be realistic, but that would be, that would be really cool. Like by the time I'm 30, cause I'm 26 now. So by the time I'm 30, I would like to at least have the majority of my time be doing stuff that I want to do. Okay, done. Tartar. How do you feel? Feel good. <laughs> feel artistic. <laughs>